the third problem of today's bi-weekly contest minimum operations to have the array sum the problem is we are given an array and we can perform in an operation any number of times the operation is we can choose any elements from the array and then reduce it to half of its value so let's say we pick 19 so we will reduce this 19 to its half which is 9.5 and then put back into the array so the array will be 5 9.5 8 and 1 now we again perform same operation basically choose any element from the new array and then half that array half that number the goal is to reduce the array until the total sum of the reduced array is half at least half the original sum so for example let's say 5 19 8 and 1 is our initial array so initial sum is 33 so we have to keep repeating these operations until we have reached 16.5 so we have to find out how many minimum number of times we can perform the operation so that we can reach 16.5 from this 33 so here what they have done is they have first performed the operation on 19 and reduced it to 9.5 and then the array is 5, 9.5, 8 and 1 so they again pick 9.5 and then reduce it to 4.75 and then they pick 8 and reduce it to 4 so the final array in their case is this with 3, op with three operations and the sum is 14.75 which is lesser than 16.5 so in total three in three operation in minimum three operation we can reach half of this array sum so that's why the answer is three so here as well in three operation we can reach from 31 to 15.5 so that's why answer is three so we can't reach 15.5 with two operations so no matter what you have what, what you can do you can't reach uh, 15.5 so that's why the answer is 3 now how to solve it so let's say this is the array 9 60 20 32 and 8 now you have to perform first operation okay so what element will you choose so the operation basically what is your target target is to uh, reduce the initial sum let's say which is s to s by 2 as quickly as possible so we have to go from s to s by 2 in minimum number of operations so what we will want is to take out as many sum as many uh, number like as reduce this sum as much as we can in one operation so in one operation as we can take any element from the array and reduce it to half so in one operation if we choose this 9 we can get rid of 4.5 so basically we reduce 9 to 4.5 and hence the sum which is s will be now s minus 4.5 similarly if we choose 60 we get rid of 30 if we choose 20 we get rid of 10 if we choose 32 we get rid of 16 if we choose for 8 we get rid of 4 so basically in one operation we have to go from s in one step that will give us maximum result so obviously instead of choosing this 4.5 10 16 or 4 we can directly choose 30 here in first step so we can reduce 60 to 30 in first step now the new array in that case will be uh, 9 30 20 32 and 8 now again we'll perform the same uh, trick basically we will try each element so this will give this can give us 14 point uh, 4.5 this can give us 15 this can give us 10 doing the operation 32 will give us 16 similarly doing the operation 8 will give us 4 so now we can see 16 
is the most num like six if we choose six thirty two, then we can get rid of maximum number which is sixteen. So in second operation we will choose to reduce thirty two to sixteen. So after this operation, uh, the array will be like something like nine thirty. 20, 16, and 8. Now, again, we have will perform the same kind of trick, and and we will do this until we reach from S to S by 2. Okay. Now, this like clearly this method will be optimal. So instead of uh, figuring out this. S1 by 2 will also be greater than S2 by 2, right? So here, if you are saying that 16 is greater than 15 or 16 is greater than 10, it simply means that 32 is also greater than 20 and 32 is also greater than 30. So basically, we can say we will just pick the maximum element, uh, perform the operation and then move forward with the new array. So what is our new strategy? The new strategy is very simple. Just pick the maximum array, a maximum number and then move forward. So initially maximum number is 60. So we will um, convert 60 to 30 and move forward. So initially the sum was uh, 40, 60, 100, 129. Now after first operation, the sum become 99 because you have removed 30. Now 9, 30, 20, 32, 8. What is the minimum? Thir what is the maximum? 32, right? So we will reduce to 16 and similarly reduce our sum to 83. So let's erase this. Now 9, 30, uh, 20, 16, 8, the maximum is 30. So we will choose 30, reduce it to 15. And now this will be 67. Uh, remember, uh, the half of 129 is 64.5. So we are still not done. So now 9, 15, 20, 60, 16, and 8. To 20 is the maximum. We will choose 20 and 20 will become 10 and 67 will become 57. So we can see in four operation, we have halved the array. Uh, like we have reached a sum which is less than or equals to 64.5. So this is the approach. I hope the approach is clear. Now, how to do this efficiently because you can't every time go and find the maximum from the array, right? Because finding maximum itself will take order and time and we have total 20 to the power 5 elements. So every time you do such operation, basically uh, you are traversing the entire array. So in worst case, what could have happened is everything is equal and you have to perform n number of operations. So let's try to find out what is the worst, uh, like what is the maximum number of operations that we have to make. So we have to con convert 129 to 64.5, right? We have to convert uh, the sum to its half. So in worst case, what could happen? We will choose every element once and then reduce it to half. So we will reduce 9 to 4.5, 60 to 30, 20 to 10, 32 to 16, and 8 to 4. So if we perform this operation, on each element, every element is half. So which indirectly means that the entire sum is also half. So in worst case, total number of operations that we can make is n. Now, what we need to do in every operation, we have to find the maximum element. So, and also we, so basically we need two operation. One operation is uh, find the max and the second operation is uh, remove the max. And then uh, there is one more operation, which is basically to add 
max by 2 to our data structure. So we need a data structure that can perform all of these operations uh, in an efficient manner. So if you noticed carefully, this is nothing but a priority queue because we have to find maximum priority queue can give us maximum in order one time. Uh, we need to remove maximum priority queue can do that in order. And as discussed, there can be in worst case total n number of operations. And we can see in each operation we are performing uh, log n plus log n plus one. So basically log n number of operations we are performing. So for performing one operation we require log n time and in worst case we perform total n operation and so the time complexity is order n log n if we implement this with a priority queue. So during the contest I haven't tried a priority queue instead I just used a multi set. Uh, basically what I did is calculated the initial sum and then used a, uh, uh, like used a multi set which is also sorted. So now while sum is less than target, target is nothing but sum by 2, what I am doing is take the last element, erase it, then remove it from the sum and then add its half to the sum and then again add this half to the initial list and this is the number of operations. So we have performed one operation so increase number of operations by one. So hope this is clear. So the crux of the problem is basically we need to identify just what is the element that we, we have to choose in the first step and as we have seen we will be choosing the one which is the maximum in the entire array. After this the problem is just reduced to using a data structure that can give us uh, that can perform these three operations efficiently and the data structure we find out was priority queue. So we just used priority queue. Hope it was clear. If anything is unclear, please comment in the comment section. Thank you.